Blizzard released a video earlier today as well as added some new information to the PTR that was data mined to get some hype generated for the new season coming on November 30th. In it, they had some info on where runes come from, and they come from a variety of places like new explorable areas they're adding, quests, or even drops from mobs. Also, there has been some changes made to Metaform and Chaos Bolt that we'll go over. But first, there was also a screen cap of some new runes from the video that they released for the feet slots, and we just couldn't believe the options that we saw. So, let's hit you with some knowledge. Demonic knowledge, that is. While not necessarily guaranteed to be the same as in later expansions, we imagine if it has changed, the only change would be a number scaling change instead of the effect of gaining spell power off your pet's stats changing. This is also being ripped from the demo tree and put onto runes means basically any build can benefit from this rune as long as they aren't sacrificing their pet. Also when combined with Demonic Pack enables the raid support specialization from Wrath of the Lich King, and though a small possibility exists it won't be as good as it is in Wrath of the Lich King, we would bet every raid will want at least one of their warlocks built with those two runes for the massive raid wide boost they'll provide to casters and healers. It also adds a lot of damage options to PvP builds no matter what route you're going, be it destruction, affliction, or demonology, as long as your pet is alive or not sacrificed. Soul Sacrifice isn't something that I can currently find in any version of WoW, however there is a similar spell called Sacrifice Soul which give a damage reduction buff to people in your party while making you take 150% increased damage. However, this seems to be only used by NPCs in Mythic Rating and may not even be a similar effect, so I can't really comment on what its effect will be. Similarly, there is no power bargain, however there is a bargain for power trinket effect that can proc off your skills and abilities, granting you some primary stat for 10 seconds. Possibly something similar here, but unknown and we don't feel like we know enough to comment on it. For metamorphosis changes, Curse of Recklessness no longer changes into our taunt, instead fear will be changed to our new taunt ability. Also, meta's mana cost has been increased to 100% of your base mana, effectively killing any form shifting shenanigans, except for possibly the most extreme edge use cases. And then, as reported earlier, the extra threat bonus has been reduced from 100% to 50%. As far as Chaos Bolt, the always hit effect has been changed to only hit targets within 3 levels, always, otherwise if a target is 4 levels or higher above you, Chaos Bolt follows the normal resist patterns that a spell can follow, meaning that it can be resisted. Blizzard also posted in their video that the raid difficulties, even for Black Fathom Deeps, will be a similar difficulty to raiding at 60 in Classic. They didn't really elaborate on that statement because honestly, that doesn't really mean much as Molten Core, ZG, AQ20, and UBRS are quite easy while AQ, 40, and Nax are extremely hard. And we feel like tuning the mechanics to like a BWL kind of difficulty would probably be the perfect difficulty for most players. Guess we'll find out though as I fully expect it to be cleared by the sweatiest of sweats by December 1st. Lastly, they unveiled some new information for Ashenvale and how that will all work. Nothing super specific to Warlocks, but you can get a mount that you can use in Ashenville only, plus reputation for other gear from your respective Warsong Golds faction that may be useful for raiding from participating. It may be worth grinding out some gear between lockouts. Likewise, a big piece of information that dropped recently was that Honored Decay is being removed from the ranking system, meaning everyone can slow grind out High Warlord or Grand Marshal over many months without having to dedicate 70 hours a week colluding with people for rank for those sweet sweet blues and purples. Those are the main things touched on that pertain to Warlocks in the hype video they released. As always, once we find out more information, we'll let everyone know, and if you want to be one of the ones informed, why not hit that sub button? Have a good night, and hopefully a good launch.